Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lemmings World Tour. Uh, last time, we beat six Legend levels in one video, and I'm pretty sure I backrooted heavily at least three of them. Wow, I don't know if this is just a case of I happen to be finding these endgame levels really easy, or if these endgame levels just genuinely are really easy. I don't know, but... Wow, I was kind of expecting this the end of this rank to be really, really tough. But it's looking like this might end up being the final level in the Legend rank, uh, the final Legend rank video. And after that, we can move on to the Encore and Groupie bonus ranks. But we have four levels left. Let's see if we can beat all of those in around a half hour. We're on level 37, Breaking the Law by Judas Priest. We have 30 lemons. Got to save all 30 of them. Okay, this is a larger brick level, so maybe this is going to take a little longer than... Last time we had a whole bunch of short levels, and then the house one. So, let's see. Okay. So we have one floater. Hmm. So, they're all trapped in nice and easy on this side. Hmm. I wonder if it's possible to use a miner to go all the way down here while freeing them. That would be kind of fun. But baby steps first. So it, we need to find a way to stop them from splatting and send a lemming on ahead to build, and then they can all be trapped in here. Interesting. Hmm. This is intriguing. It looks like we're gonna. It looks like most of this solution is gonna be making use of the very limited diggers uh, set. Hmm. So we've got one, two. Potentially free. No, we can build over. No, that's splat height, though. Oh, boy. We do have four stackers, though. If I stack here, is one lemon going to escape? No, they're not. Okay. Then I will make you a climber. And we can keep them penned into this little uh, hole over here. Then we can send Mr. McGee up here. And then everyone else can be hemmed in, and we can have them dig. Or, no, we can actually... Well, I don't know how str I don't know how um, few builder how much of a builder shortage we're going to have, but how much we'd have to build up to around here in order to avoid having to use a digger. And I'm trying to think. We probably need a digger for the end. Where else might we need a digger? Getting for this structure is going to be annoying. That's going to take, I think, two destructive skills, which. Is and neither of them could be a digger, so we're, that's only going to leave us with one destructive skill left, which is what we're going to need to get them out. Or we could... We could build them out. We could potentially build them out, because they would actually land on this little pixel. Hmm. I think we're going to run out of builders sooner or later. Okay, that's... Alright. So we're going to dig them out, and we only have to use probably two builders to get up here. Just making sure. Yeah, they'll survive, so we just dig them out. And we have... We save some builders for this side, which we're gonna start... Uh, so we can build, and then stack, and then build again. I'm gonna keep them hemmed back as long as I can. Alright. 
right at the edge. Will that actually... It will! Oh, hunky-dory. Interesting. Now we can build there. But we only have four builders left. And the way I see it, we're going to need a builder for here. Can we really get up there and free builders? I, I highly doubt that. We need all the rest of our builders, which means we're going to have to find some way to cut the splat fall here. Okay, well, I want to I wanna check something. If we do that, that's not enough to cut them out. Okay, that's a shame. We could send a cl another climber to do that and build, but then we would need to cut their splat fall as well. Oh, I see. So this is all about knowing where to use your destructive skills and where to use your builders. Oh, clever. I think that part I didn't do as efficiently as I should have. Okay. It's way too many dis it's way too many builders to get them out here. Way too many. I can see that clearly now. Except Except, this requires two of the horizontal destructive skills to get them through. Because we can't get them out with a single digger. So actually, maybe we just need to find a way to stop them from splatting all that much. Well, it occurs to me... No, that would, that would... I'm like, we could climb up here, bash, and have a builder this side and a builder this side. And that would... But that would, that would just save the two builders there, and it would take a basher, so that's not a good plan. I do like, if we get up to the top here, maybe we could dig and then stack at the end? If we time it right, we could send them all out at roughly the same time. They could fall down here without splatting, and then this guy could stack to stop him and climb over it. So we have no builders left. So I'm thinking, with four builders and one stacker, we can get them out here. And then we have a miner left to get free them, and then two diggers, and one digger... Okay, I think this is actually doable. So while he's fencing... Actually, we're going to rewind a little bit more. He's doing that, we're going to dig them out. Now, I have to time this right. Which might be tricky. Oh, doggone it. Okay. Actually, we're going to need another builder to get them over that. 
I might need to let them out a little earlier, because, yeah, I forgot. We actually need a builder to get them up this stacker. Yeah, I don't like that. So we're going to have to rewind a little more. When he's at to roughly this point, let's try. I don't like these timing puzzles like this, but what you going to do? gonna have like the last lemming over here built so that they'll all be at around the same place okay i think this will work beautiful all right so now we use our last oh wait no we need another stacker to turn these idiots around oh wait no we don't need it we don't need to stack there what am i even saying because he's gonna hit the steel Now you're going to mine here, and you're going to... Oh, that's right, we used, a f we used our digger too early. Oh, doggone it. Maybe if we dig... Hang on. If we dig at the very edge here... If we dig at the very edge, can we actually dig all the way down? No, we can't. Oh, rats. Okay, so we're going to have to actually... Need to save a digger. That or use the miner to get them all out one way. I don't see that happening though. Because we can't even mine right here, because they can't mine on top of steel. So if we could save one if we can save one constructive skill somewhere. If we could save one constructive skill somewhere. Hmm. Where would we do that, though? Hmm. This, okay, so this is actually a very tricky level. This is kind of what I was thinking of for the Legend rank. We could use both of our diggers to get them through here. Build and mine to get through all of this. Huh. Okay, I'm going to go back to the drawing board here. Okay, we're going to start with the same old stacker, uh, stacker problem. So my new diabolical plan, we're going to dig these guys out with two diggers. Oh, sweet. I didn't even need to send a climber to go up and dig on that side. Okay, great. That's what I want. So now they're all hemmed in here. We can use a stacker plus a miner to get through here all the way down to the bottom, which is great. Now, what this means, though, is because we have no diggers, and we're going to need our miner for later, we're going to need to use a lot of builders here to get them all out. I think we'll need four builders.
Will that be enough? I think that'll be enough. I just want to check to make sure before I go any further. Nope, of course not. Is that seriously one pixel splat height? If so, I hate that. I literally, I bet you that is literally one pixel splat height. Also, that should, according to the splat ruler, that should not be splat height. Nope, no, no, it is literally one pixel splat height. That is incredibly stupid. Again, if you're going to make something splat height, make it at least kind of obvious. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so we have... Let me think about this. So we could either expend... A, we could expend a stacker or a builder here. Probably a stacker. Well... Yeah, we would expend the stacker. We would expend the stacker for sure. Actually, no, we... As weird as it is... It's, no. As weird as it is, it is... Let me talk. As weird as it is to believe, I think it'll actually be more beneficial to keep a stacker. Yeah. Wow. I hate that. That is so dumb. All right. <laughs> because even if we... Fe even if we fence up there followed by a builder, uh, I think we're still going to hit the, s the steel if we... Wait a second. Wait, I don't like this, Sam. I am. How much is that splat I buy? Okay. We're gonna do this sooner rather than later. Okay, so you're going to stack. Once you're on that little nub there. Okay, we gotta do this in such a way. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Change of plans. We will use a stacker here. Because we're going to use a builder here. You're going to uh, mine for all of this. You're going to start building. And he's going to build a splat form for them. Hopefully that's enough. Unfortunately, I think we've used too many builders at this point. Well, first off, I'm not sure if that would even be enough to stop them from splatting. No, it was. That is just enough to stop them from splatting. So we, if we get them all the way up here, then great. The problem is, I don't think we really can. Because we only have two destructive skills left. We need to get them all out of here, which requires a builder. And we, that leaves us with one builder left, and we need a builder for there, but we also will need a builder for here. Ah, oh, really? I did so well, though. Wait a second. Wait a second. What happens if we climb up here and then stack or build on our way out? Or heck, alternatively. So if we stack here, we only need a small handful of builders to get, we only need two builders to get them down from there. Okay, I like it. Okay. Okay, so they're all out. That's fine. We're not going to build there just yet. Now, hopefully, we can build in the same place where we can stop them from splatting. Otherwise, we're going to have to... No, okay. We'll hold off. We'll hold off on this until we get more lemmings clustered in that group. 
Is that enough? That's not enough. Also, we need him to cut through the bridge anyways. It needs to be exactly two builders. Huh. I guess we're just gonna wait for an even longer time. Alright, in the meantime, bro, you're gonna stack there. Oh, that's it, that's it. Yeah, we have to mine at the very, very edge. In order to reach the full potential. This, this right here should make the splat form for them. By one pixel. Again, I don't like the whole by one pixel thing. Can we? So now we need to go up over the top. So we could literally bash, build, fence, build, maybe? I'll have to see about that. So first off, can we stop them from splatting with literally just one builder? No. An impossible fool's dream. That should do it. That, again, one pixel. Let's just test to make sure. Yep, one pixel. Don't like all these one pixel tricks. You know, folks, I don't think this is going to be the last Legend video. <laughs> Sorry, just saying, though. Alright. Oh, here's... Here's something I never thought about. We can bash through all there, do this, climb up, turn around and stack. Oh my gosh, why didn't I never think of that? That would have made the level more manageable. Wow, okay, that actually would have made... I potentially could have solved it another way if I had just realized I could do that. I actually had two builders to spare at the end. I think that act Okay, once I figured that part out, I actually think there are multiple solutions to this level, provided they don't splat here. Cool. Climber will go up here, but it's okay. He'll hit the barrel and turn around, and everyone goes free, and we have two builders to spare. Nice! Okay, that was a fun level. That That is exactly what I kind of expect from Legend Rank levels. They take a while to suss out, but they're not, like, stupidly difficult, like, some level packs. That was actually really fun. Really liked that level. It seemed, I feel like it was kind of open-ended, too, which is great. Level 38, Thriller by Michael Jackson. Well, we got this nice-looking shadow level. Four hatches, and three of these hatches have triathletes. So, hmm. We can kill five lemmings. Release rate of 90. Oh, who are the zombies? Oh, maybe the zombies are all the ones in here? Okay, well, they, those zombies are just going to stay in there, and they're going to be real chill. Okay, yeah, it's one hatch versus the zombies. Okay, interesting. Hmm. All right, well, we could literally send a glider right off the bat, and I think he would glide on top of the house. So we basically got to get them around all of these zombies. Well... We can dig and bash under the first hatch, if need be. Maybe we send a lemming ahead, and they can deal with this zombie hatch just by making them all go in the water. As for the final hatch, the final hatch is going to be trickier. Hmm. 
Yeah, the final hatch is going to be trickier. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, hey, we could we could um, build bash build in such a way that they just go right to the exit, and then as long as we do something like cut off the path here. Okay, all right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So first off, I want to just send a athlete over here and see where they go. Oh. Hey, we go in between the zombies on the roof! I totally forgot the zombies on the roof, actually. That gives us enough time to actually make him a basher. Okay, that, that merges these two zombie hatches together. That's actually really cool. So now what we could do is... Again, we, we don't have a whole lot of destructive skills, so we do have to be careful about that. I like I like this idea of going under Okay, well hang on. Before I send before I send him on. Yeah, okay. We're, let's wait for everyone to get out of the hatch. Alright, you're gonna climb. And you're going to dig and then bash under this first hatch of zombies. And what we're going to do is we are going to build at the end. Alright, so they're all here, and then we can bash them if need be. So all we have to do is deal with these stupid idiots. Easier said than done. Hmm. Okay. Got to think about this. Hmm. Okay, maybe maybe we didn't do this right. Maybe we are not supposed to dig and bash under this. Instead, I am going to build, and you're going to glide. And we do have a cloner. If we need it. Which, we might be needing it. So, for example... We can bash through here and build. Well, there's no point. We can't get the lemmings all up here with this with four builders we would need. First off, we need to get them up here. But we don't have we do not have enough constructive skills to get them. Well, I'm not going to give up just yet, but I'm very sure we don't have enough. Because, yeah, we only have two builders left, and we would... We could get over here with two builders, but then we'd have to get them back up somehow. Which actually... Hang on. We do have free diggers still. Okay, if I can get this to work. So I'm just going to test. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to be anywhere close. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's not enough. If we could stop there stacker midway, it could be enough. Hmm. I don't know though. No, I think I think I'm trying too hard. Alright, I think we just need to find 
another way of dealing with this hatch over here. Hmm. But we gotta deal with this hatch in such a way that... Alright. I'm thinking. And my thought is this. Hmm, but... Hang on, if we do this, we're gonna have to find a way to isolate a lemming. Okay, hang on. Just try stuff. I need to ask. Okay, we can't. We don't need to send a climber to have them dig in the back. Okay, that's actually good. So what we're gonna do? We are gonna send the uh, the athlete over here. So what I'm thinking is we can clone this guy. One of them can build bash, get them all to go this way. Well, hang on a second. Yeah, they all go this way, and then we can have his clone, like, dig a pit into the water. They all die. And then we just need to find a way to isolate one lemming over here to, like, seal up the gap with maybe a builder. And then we would just have a clear way and then another builder over there. Alright, I'm gonna try it. It might not work, but I'm gonna try it. So let's do a little something something like this. We're gonna dig way as close to here as possible, so we only need like a one. Okay. So he bravely sacrifices himself, and now they all are trapped down here. Just like that. Okay. Now if we get if we can get to such a point where walkers there. There are two walkers there. Hmm. I don't like having to build twice, but... There we go. That seems a bit hackish. But now, with just our one remaining builder, we can get... Oh, hang on. I already see a potential problem, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him go into the tunnel and stack to make sure nobody goes in the water. Because we're gonna send the two guys behind him to do this, and hopefully... Beautiful! Again, that seems very hackish. But it works, and that's what really counts. That's what really matters in the long run. It's not whether the solution is elegant, it's whether the solution works, and it did. Okay, well, no legend, no, we're not finishing the legend rank today, but we will be finishing it on Friday. So that actually works out. This, this week, it's going to be the last three videos of the Legend Ranks, and then we can go to the bonus ranks next week. So, that was a fun level. Probably wasn't exactly as intended, because that seemed very hackish, but it still works. So, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for the finale of the Legend Rank, and then we can get started on the bonus ranks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.